What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I just wanted to do a quick video on some of the gear bags and things that I use for my overland trips and the way that I keep my gear organized. Um, this helps a lot with just knowing where things are at when you do have a situation where you either need to use your recovery gear or you need to use any of your tools. And then, you know, obviously the camp kitchen's hanging back here. So this, these bags are all from the same company and I just kind of want to make this video to give a shout out to this company just because I really appreciate this gear. None of this was uh, sent to me or anything like that. This was, you know, something that I bought because I wanted to use the gear. And uh, I like to buy decent gear that's gonna last a long time. So these bags are all made by a company based out of Colorado. Um, it's called Venture Tool Company. They are all made in the US with US materials and every one of their bags carries a limited lifetime warranty. Um, and I really try to support US made companies whenever I can. Um, you know, I'm not gonna turn away from a product that's made in a different country, but at the same time, like if there's an option and it's a good product for a, a product that's made here in the US with US materials even, then I really try to support them if I can. Um, so yeah, so I have their recovery bag and I have their camp kitchen and I have their tool roll, which is down here. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start with the tool roll here real quick. Um, just wanna go over this whole thing. So this thing probably weighs, I don't know, close to 15 or 20 pounds at this point with all the tools in here. Waxed canvas bag, uh, chose that because being underneath a truck or working on something like that, it's great to have the water resistance and the cleanability of the wax canvas. Um, also, my understanding is, is it's very durable as well. So we're gonna, you know, I've had this for a couple of years now and it's been working out great. So anyways, I'll just show you this real quick. So snap, roll this bad boy out. The flap opens up. There is a zipper pocket up here on the top um, where you can, you know, put some, some wider things like these shop towels that I have laying down here, which would actually be great if I was you know, if I put them back in there, but I always forget. And it's got a little pocket where I keep a bar of like, um, like a grease remover soap or whatever for your hands after you do this kind of work on an, on an engine or whatever else. So it's got the tall pocket up on the top. And then as you can see, it's got a bunch of tool pockets here. I chose the blaze orange interior. You can also get an interior that matches the same color of the exterior. Um, I chose the blaze orange because I think it really helps with being able to see what you have in here. And it's just like, it's just a little bit easier for the contrast there. So anyways, uh, have an assortment of tools in here. This isn't really about like what I'm carrying for this, but I really just wanted to show the bag. So um, in here it has 10 sleeves for different tools. Um, I've found that this has been a really well-rounded setup. I've used this for multiple tra trail repairs and I feel like I've had everything that I needed really. I mean, obviously there's things like, you know, electric impacts and things like that that would be really nice, but um, wasn't really, you know, when I'm camping, I'm not really bringing that kind of stuff. Uh, this is really just for emergency repairs. So you can kind of see what I have in here, but, um, and then in side pockets, this is where I carry, I have a lot of different sockets. I have deep and shallow. I have Allen keys, I have Torx. Um, I have, you know, an entire Allen set of standard and metric. Um, so that's just a bigger pot pocket on this side. Um, also has, so the back wall of it is the blaze orange in here, but the insides of this part is just the same color as the outside. So they didn't like double line it or anything. Um, so there's that part. And then on this side, I keep, a box and wrench set, if I can get it out of there. That covers quite a few sizes as well. I got this off Amazon. I don't have a link for it. Honestly, I don't know that I would buy it again, um, but quite a few sizes in there and I can keep, you know, a lot of wrenches and that comes in handy pretty often. Um, I probably wouldn't buy it again though because I did get like some <laughs> sizes that were, uh, duplicate sizes in there. So instead of a 12 and a 13, I got a 12 and a 12. So things like that. So I had to do a little bit of doctoring on that kit. Then I just keep some other supplies in here, you know, some uh, quick steel, JB Weld, duct tape, some extra like hose, a pick set, you know, things like that. Maybe there's a little bit of thermal tape, things like that. So anyways, this is the tool kit. If you guys really want to go into depth on this and you want to know exactly what I'm carrying on my, on my trips, let me know in the comments and I will make a video on exactly what I carry in my tool bag. But yeah, so that is the tool pouch or the tool roll from uh, Adventure Tool Company. I don't know where their brand is. Uh, it must be on the very back. So anyways, Adventure Tool Company tool roll, great piece of equipment.
All right, and next up I've got their recovery bag. So this is a great piece of kit. This is a more recent purchase from them. I've got the nylon exterior on this. They have three options. They have wax canvas, they have canvas, like a dry canvas, and then they have the nylon. I got the nylon exterior and I got the blaze orange interior. Again, really, I really like that blaze orange there. So anyway, it's real, I'll just quickly show you. I, it carries quite a bit of kit in here. So I've got some winch line protectors. I've got a hitch a recovery point. I've got a 30 foot recovery strap, a tree saver, a, a winch blanket, and then I've got a couple of soft shackles in these pockets, a couple of hard shackles as well, and uh, some more winch line protectors just to keep you from causing any abrasion on there. And then I have a uh, snatch block. So uh, this brand is, I don't know if you can see that, uh, Sino King or something. I don't know exactly. Uh, it's probably something I got off of Amazon. I've used this a couple times. It's worked great. Um, just make sure that you're keeping an eye on it if you see any stress points or, stre or fractures or anything like that. Obviously don't use it, um, but this has worked great. I probably will upgrade this at some point. Um, I haven't had to use it to pull myself out, but I pulled a couple other people out and it's been fine. So um, anyways, I'll pull this out so you can see the whole inside of the bag here. So big wide open space, the way it opens up, I like that the zipper goes all the way down to the bottom on both sides. So you really can, I mean, this the bag spreads almost all the way open, which is really handy. Um, so yeah, it's a good design. Three pockets on this side, two bigger pockets on the other side here. And um, let's see exterior sleeve pocket here. I have a couple of like cinch straps in here. And let's see, one more exterior sleeve pocket on that side. So uh, otherwise very simple bag, but great design, very tough. And again, limited lifetime warranty. So you can't really go wrong. All right, there you go. Recovery bag. All right, and then the last bag that I have from them, for now at least, um, I have the camp kitchen. So uh, again, nylon exterior. This has two straps with, uh, with little buckles on there. So you can hook this up onto like any kind of like an awning or anything you have hanging over the area where you're gonna be working and doing you know meal prep and everything. You can hook that up and then you can hang it up. And then the front, it folds down and if you guys have seen any of my youtube videos like usually recently at least this has been in there so then it would fold down and hang in the area where you're going to be working so um i really like this this bag this thing has been fantastic for keeping like the immediate necessities for a kitchen setup like really handy so i've got utensils all up here it's got four good sized pockets for that Got a canvas, uh, I'm sorry, a mesh bag up here on the top. I keep some seasonings, coffee filters, things like that in there. It's got a sleeve behind here if you wanted to tuck anything into that pocket. And then down here, a little buckle kind of holds this area closed to keep some of your you know, bigger pieces secure. So I have two cutting, or it looks like three cutting boards in there. So I keep those in there, a couple of plates, and then right in front of that sleeve, so I'll buckle that back up. Um, right in front of that sleeve, I have a collapsible plate, a little small cutting board. I'm not sure why I have four cutting boards, but this works out fine anyways. <laughs> a hot pad for taking some stuff off the fire or whatever else. And then another mesh bag down here on the bottom. Again, more seasonings, a lighter, just some basics that you would keep for your immediate needs for camp kitchen. Um, it's got sleeves on the sides. I'm not sure exactly what you would use these for. I'm sure there's something that would come in handy for that. But anyways, very simple, but also very um, effective in the design. So um, it's got the, the straps for the handles. I really like that the strap goes all the way down. I'm not sure if this wraps all the way through. Kind of looks like it does. Let's see if you can see from the inside. Uh, it doesn't look like it does. So it looks like that strap ends right there at the very bottom, but either way, that is a long piece of, of webbing there that's gonna really hold tight on this bag for a long time. So you won't have to worry about your handle ever ripping off or anything like that. Um, big YKK zippers on these bags. I think they all use YKK zippers. 
And uh, yeah, no exterior pockets, but simple, effective design and uh, made in the USA, limited lifetime warranty with USA materials. Can't go wrong there. So these products have all worked out really well for me. I've been very happy with them. All right, you guys, well, that kind of wraps it up. I just wanted to do a quick video, something that would just give you guys a quick, brief explanation of how uh, these bags have worked out for me and kind of to show the quality and the build and everything else for you guys. So hopefully you like this video. If you want to see more, uh, you know, of the gear and stuff that I'm using, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get some of those videos out for you guys. Um, I've been really happy with all of this equipment. I think that it's a great company. And if you guys have the, you know, if you're looking for something like this to be able to organize your gear better and to um, support U.S. companies and things like that, and especially people that are in the same industry of the things that we enjoy doing outdoors and everything, um, this is a great way to do it. So I um, encourage you guys to go check out their website. I'll leave a link in the description of the video so you guys can see that. And uh, yeah, like, subscribe if you guys like this kind of content, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.